photograph for an assassin. This entry is likely the most recognizable image on the list. Pictured is music icon John Lennon of the Beatles, singing a copy of his album Double Fantasy for Mark David Chapman, the man who would murder him less than six hours later. The gunman approached his target as he was leaving his apartment for a trip to the recording studio and asked him for an autograph. The unwitting musician signed the record and then went on his way. Hours later, when he returned from his trip to the recording plant, Chapman fired several shots from a .38, striking Lennon in his back and shoulder, then remained at the scene until police arrived. Pogo the Clown Pogo the Clown is a serial killer and rapist John Wayne Gacy. The killer clown, as he became known, was responsible for sexual assault and murder of at least 33 young males over the span of just six years. The picture destined to haunt your nightmares is Gacy in his guise as Pogo, a character he devised himself for his appearances at charitable events just as fundraisers and children's parties. The Hiroshima Shadows The atomic bombing of Hiroshima, Japan is one of history's most notorious incidents. When the bomb named Little Boy was detonated, there was an intense bright blast that partially consisted of radiations. A person standing near the wall of a building could have obstructed the light just long enough that no radiation hit the wall behind them. But the unobstructed atomic flash hit the walls around where the person was standing it charred the walls, but in the spot where a person had been standing. Columbine Class Picture The Columbine High School massacre that took place in 1999 will live in infamy as one of the most horrific school shootings of all time. This photo, taken in 1999, just a few weeks before the shooting, shows the preparators Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold in the top left of the photo pretending to aim guns at the camera. For those that saw it, at the time it probably just seemed like teenagers goofing off as usual, but it gives us a glimpse into the mindset of the two teens who would slaughter their classmates just days later. Capturing One's Own Killer on Film Philippine counselor Reynaldo Dexa who had helped get the shooter in the photo jailed for car theft. His accomplice can also be seen in the top right of the photo, just behind Dux's wife, daughter and mother-in-law. If there's any positive to be taken from this, it's that the counselor's camera walk led to an easy arrest of his assassin, who was sent away for a lot more than car theft this time. Diver Down The photo was taken by Gary Stemper of his wife in the foreground. The other two divers pictured are Tina Watson and a rescue diver. In fact, it is a key piece of evidence in a deep sea murder mystery. Ringed on the right is the body of honeymooner Tina Watson, who police believed was killed while diving by the man she had just married. And on the left is a diving instructor swimming desperately towards her in the hope of saving her life. Jonestown on the subject of mass suicide, there is none more infamous than the occurrences of Jonestown. The People's Temple Agricultural Project, led by the charismatic leader Jim Jones, had an astonishing 918 people take their own lives. It's the largest mass suicide in history and a terrible reminder of the power of the cult of personality. The 44-minute death tape recorded that day captures much of this event in audible horror. The picture shown here is one of the conveys the scale of the loss of life on the day with bodies literally piling up on top of one another. The Eruption of Mount St. Helens Robert Landsberg was a 48-year-old American photographer living in Portland, Oregon. On the morning of May 18, when the eruption of St. Helens occurred, Robert Landsberg was just a few miles from the peak. The photographer knew he wouldn't survive the ash cloud that was quickly heading his way, so he continued taking pictures and then put the camera in his backpack and laid his body on it to shield it from harm. His body was found 17 days later buried in ash with his camera safely tucked away underneath. 
Blanche Monnier. The Monniers were an upper middle class family living in Poitiers, France in the late 1800s. The daughter Blanche disappeared when she was 25 years old. The police found her locked in a room covered in filth and excrement, weighing a mere 55 pounds, never having seen the son in 25 years. Her mother and brother had locked her away to avoid her marriage to a man they deemed unfit to join their family and kept her there for a quarter of a century. Although she did manage to gain a little weight, she never recovered her sanity and died in a psychiatric hospital 13 years after being freed from her own personal hell. Regina Walters The actual context behind this photo is terrifying. The stuff that nightmares are born from. The girl is in fact Regina Walters, but the person behind the camera is not a family member at all. It's serial killer Robert Ben Rhodes taking a photo of one of his victims just moments before she drew her final breath. Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you liked this video so please hit the like and the subscribe button and share this video and help help me support me. So stay safe I'll meet you on my next video.